So definitely if you clicked on this video looking at the thumbnail, you definitely want to move your mass mark from being a 30% to being an 80% or even above that. So if you want to do that, just continue and watch the video. Don't take away. Just continue to watch the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Anita Villagazi and I'm about to give you tips on basically how to achieve a 30% to an 80%. If you don't know me, I am a third year student doing mathematics at the University of Johannesburg. So I know what I'm talking about. So let's get on with the video, right? So first thing first, we need to understand what is the red, orange, and green method, right? So according to ChatGPT, a red, orange, and green study method is a technique that involves categorizing your studies material based on the level of understanding or familiarity with the content right it says red material this represents content that you can't understand or find difficult mark those sections in red right and they say spend more time on those areas breaking down seeking clarification from teachers peers and practicing until you grasp the concept fully then it says orange this signifies the contents that you partially understand but need reinforcement. Highlight those sections in orange. They say review them regularly, focusing on areas that need more improvement, right? Then the green, it says green material. This demonstrates the content that already you understand well. Mark those sections in green. Although you would feel comfortable with the topics, it's still beneficial to review them periodically to maintain your understanding and ensure that you don't forget important details. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to pull up a paper, like pull it up, right? And this paper is just a uh, Tom Wan's paper, the Houting paper. And I'm just going to show you in action on how to use the red, orange, and green method, right? But first, how we're going to do it is we're going to do it like for just focusing on one topic. I'm going to use the topic number patterns, right? So you can see the fact that we're looking at question two, right? Question two, you see the fact that it's a quadratic number pattern, right? So what you're going to do so that you can test whether are you red, orange, or green, what you're going to do, what I, what I would advise you to do is that to do the question right, mark yourself. So what you're going to do is that, like, let's say for instance, question two, quadratic number pattern, maybe you do the question and you find yourself to think that, oh, okay, cool. Maybe I do not understand what, maybe I do not understand how to find the general term. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight that question in red. Remember the fact that red represents what? I do not know it. I do not know how to find that thing, right? And meaning from that, it's going to automatically affect what? It's going to automatically affect the next question. Let's say you also don't get that, right? Meaning, what does it mean? It means that your quadratic pattern under sequence and series, you don't understand them. But let's say you go down under geometric, right? So let's go say you go down under geometric and you find yourself the fact that, you know what? Under geometric, maybe like your orange. Since I do not have a orange highlighter, I'm going to represent it as yellow, right? So let's say you you get there and you see the fact that, okay, I partially understand, right? Meaning the fact that like you can find 3.1, right? But you find yourself the fact that um, maybe 3.1, you got like partial marks, right? So you, you partially understand, right? Then 3.2, maybe it's the same thing, right? You partially understand, right? Maybe you got like 3.2. This is just for demonstration purposes. I hope this makes sense, right? So now you know the fact that the geometric sequence, uh, what you call the series, it's what? It's partial, right? It's partial, meaning like you understand and you don't. I hope that makes sense, right? But like, let's now move down, right? And you see the fact that the last section, right, is an aromatic. Let's say you completely ace that section. Let's say you get four marks, right? You know the fact that, okay, aromatic, I'm sorted, right? The only thing that I need to do is that every once in a while, I need to like, remind myself right so looking at what i just did right we're gonna take your notebook you know the fact that you're gonna name it down and the number patterns you know the fact that you have three patterns right Quadratic, you have aromatic and you have geometric right so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna list them down on the side after listing them down on the side you're gonna uh, like put the color 
you know the fact that uh, quadratic was white was red, meaning you completely don't understand that section. Then you know the fact that geometric is like partial, right? Meaning there's not going to be a lot of work, right? Then you're going to assign it, obviously you're going to assign it orange. Then the last one, which is automatic, was green, right? So what you do when you study now is that you do not focus on the green one for now. Because the green one is the one that you understand. So what you're going to do is you're going to focus on your red first. You're going to focus on your red first. And since this is math, you need to understand the fact that where is it the problem? Where is my problem lying? Is it lying the fact that maybe it's that specific question? Or is it lying the fact that it's like, is it my foundation, right? But if you are red on a section, what I would suggest is that go back to grade 10, grade 11, right? Then get into doing metric work, like metric type of questions, right? So with quadratic, you know automatically the fact that, okay, cool, in grade, in grade 10, we didn't do that, meaning you need to go back and revise your work, your grade 11 work. So obviously the first portion was like basically showing you a specific topic on how you would like basically use the red, orange, and green method right so but let's say now you are a month in or two months before you write your exam probably watching this like later on in the year right how you would use the method so what you will do is that you will pull up a past paper right so pull it up then when you pull it up first test yourself in the entire paper right so let's say you start with paper one which is the only one that i'm going to make an example paper one because whatever you do in paper one is the same thing that you're going to use like in paper two right so you're going to pull up your paper one right so what you're going to do is that you're going to basically write the paper right and the reason why you're writing your paper you want to score yourself where you are with certain sections right so pull it up let's say you pull up paper one you write it right they say so for x maybe let's say you get like an 80 percent obviously it's like score yourself in terms of like per section right they say um so for x you get like an 80 percent that means green right then let's say the fact that um the second section which is number pattern maybe let's say you get like roughly maybe like a 60 a 65 i would consider that like an orange right i think i'll just write percentage which one you would consider like as being green as being orange and as being red right then let's say you do functions and you score like maybe badly you score like a 30 or 40 that i would consider that as a red right and you do that for each and every topic right so after doing that you're gonna take right your 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 your, your highlighting part after scoring and after testing yourself then you're gonna just list them down all the topics for paper one and just very important just focus one paper at a time i hope that makes it right so you're going to take all the topics for paper one then you're going to list them down and you're going to say the fact that okay this is green this is orange and this is like yellow right how are you seeing on the screen right then after that what you're going to do is that the topics that are red you start with them but before you start with the topics that are red make sure the fact that the red topics that you start with is the topics that have a lot of marks do not focus on red topics that don't give you a lot of marks because our goal is to acquire a lot of marks as we can like we're just collecting marks so if like for instance maybe you bad at like three topics right let's say that topics is probability functions and um, probability functions and um finance right let's say this the three bad topics that you get right do not start with doing finance first. Finance has less marks. Don't start with probability first. Probability have less marks. But start with functions because functions are going to give you a lot of marks. Right? I hope that makes sense. So start with functions. Then after, with fun after starting with functions, then move to finance. Then wait before you move to finance. Uh, yeah. Before you move to finance, look at a game. Look at the orange ones that have a, a lot of marks. I hope that makes sense. Then the orange ones that have the most, like, like more marks, let's say maybe your orange is like calculus, right? And maybe, um, number pattern, right? So as I said, the fact that after you're done with the red sections that has a lot of mark, then you move to the orange sections that have a lot of marks, right? So after doing that, you're just going to focus on the sections that have a lot of marks, right? That are white, that are orange. 
Then when you're done with the orange sections that have a lot of marks, I feel like I'll just put a table so that everything that I'm saying makes sense, right? Then when you're done with the section that has have a lot of marks, right? That are orange, then you can move to the red ones that are at least like least marks, then you move to the orange. I hope that makes sense, right? So that way you know the fact that you are mastering the topics that have that lot of marks first before just moving on to the ones that have least marks, right? I hope that makes sense, right? So that's that, right? You're probably asking yourself right now, how do I, let's say after doing this whole green, yellow, uh, green, orange, and like <laughs> the red, orange and green method how do i end up mastering the topics so there are two options right one is a free option right and one is the one that's going to cost you money right so let's start with the free one right so with the free one what i would suggest is that get since maths is a build up you need to get a grade 10 a grade 11 and a grade 12 textbook right but lucky for you is that we already have like online sources that offer that and that platform is Siavola, right? So I'm going to leave a link to Siavola, right? For you to basically access all the three textbooks, right? So what you'll do is that per topic, right? Per topic, the one that you, the one that's green, very important, the one that's green, the one that's green and orange, I would suggest to basically go back from scratch so that you can like take out even things that you probably thought you knew but maybe like you don't know right so what you will do is that you will need three textbook right you can either use the online version of it or you can download the textbook which is pretty nice right and then let's say maybe the topic that's giving you a problem is number pattern for example right so what you will do is that you're just going to go to your textbook if it's number pattern since number pattern is starting from grade 10 make sure the fact that you read up the whole grade 10 then the nice thing about Siavola, they have the practice section, right? Then go to the practice section and the number pattern will master that, right? Then go to grade 11, right? After that section and the number pattern, do the practice, right? Master that. Then go to metric, then do the, like, do a uh, number pattern, right? Then master that. Then you know the fact that you have knowledge from grade 10, grade 11, and grade 12. So you know the fact that in terms of basics, you sort it. But the thing with textbooks, I do not do study guides. I beg of you, do not use study guides. Because if you use study guides, study guides, some of them, they just summarize the work. They don't like actually explain it to the core. So I would love you guys to use the actual textbook, right? Because with study guides, sometimes you're going to be confused, right? So after doing that, the thing is with textbook, they give you the foundation. They're not showing you how they test in past papers, right? So now what you're going to do is that when you're done mastering grade 10, 11, and 12, what you need to do is that you need to get past papers, right? Um, if you're writing in November, I, I, I think you should start now with your past papers. Take your past papers, only do the number pattern section, right? Only do the number pattern section. Do a lot of like questions from that and score yourself. If you see the fact that, okay, cool, maybe like you're moving from being a red to maybe like now you're moving to like an orange, that's good. Then you know the fact that, okay, maybe I just need to do more past paper questions just to familiarize yourself with how the examiners test. So that is the free version. It's a lot of work, but if you want that A and you don't have money, that's one way to do it, right? Then the other way is to join my course, right? So to join my course, right, is um i do everything that i just said right is that if let's say maybe you're struggling with number patterns right so under the course under number patterns you're going to see the fact that there's going to be all three sections so it's going to be the arithmetic, it's going to be the quadratic and also it's going to be the geometric right so the nice thing about my course is that i start from foundation so you're gonna i'm gonna this video lessons explaining from scratch meaning explaining from like the foundation from grade 10 grade 11 and grade 12 so i build you up because i know how important that is right then the nice thing is that after a couple of lessons there's like uh, quizzes that you can test yourself which is equivalent to how you have like does it in the practice section but as after every like a couple of lessons or every after lesson there is like a quiz to test yourself because knowing how it was asked and you replicating it is very important with maths because math is like a method 
uh, type of subject is like you need to see it then just replicate it so that is why there's quizzes after that just to test your understanding and so that you can interact with the actual program right and another nice thing is that as we move down if you may take right is that these questions from past paper questions like taken from past paper questions so that you can familiarize yourself with how they taste so it's like everything that you need so that you can pass basically pure math because i understand the fact that sometimes when you fail is because of like you don't understand the foundation part right so if you want to join my course it's um you can first if you want to join and you feel like okay i want to test it out and when i like use my money first there's going to be a link down right on how to test it out for three days it's a three-day free trial so you can test it out and see whether is this for me or is it not for me hope that makes sense right then um after the free trial obviously you need to pay right so i'm going to leave the link to my website so that you can like purchase if you want to purchase or if you want to try it out for free again i'm going to leave a form that you need to fill just bear in mind the fact that it takes two to two to three days for enrollment so just be a little bit patient if you want to like check it out for free first right so that is another way that you can do it is by joining my course and the nice thing that i just didn't say is that if you're watching any video listen or you're doing a quiz and you feel like you're confused there's like a button that you can press to us you can type or you can send a picture which is pretty cool another way that you could do it via the payment is that to get a twitter is to get a one-on-one -on -one twitter which is quite expensive because with the one one uh, with the one-on-one -on -one twitter you pay per hour so as for me it's like 600 for the whole thing you end up paying like whatever that per hour because of it rates between 150 to 250 per hour so you might end up paying more than that and you're not guaranteed the fact that the tutor might start from the beginning which is another thing and if they do start from the beginning then your money goes a little bit up right so basically that's how you would use the orange red <laughs> the the red orange and green method right hope you guys enjoyed this video and i want to like start posting a little bit more here so any video suggestion right on things maybe i should do i'm thinking of doing like books um textbooks that you guys can use that are like a completely free like other alternatives or ways but just like leave comments right down on which type of videos you guys would like me to talk about please 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 make it be math related don't i feel like don't ask me anything besides like maths subject because i don't specialize in other um subjects but I specialize in maths. Ask me anything about maths, I'll give me the tea about maths. But yeah, just give me suggestions, videos that you would like to see. So yeah, see you next time. I don't know when it is that, but I'll see you next time. And I hope this video works and I hope you guys implement this, right? Don't just watch it, implement the actual technique. I think it's a very brilliant technique. So implement it and come back after time to and tell me how it went again okay. bye